I'm Phil Collin, and this is the limited edition PC1 in satin black. <laughs> Pretty cool, there. Kurt uh, uh, Jackson actually said, oh, check this out, and I, I just remember it just looked so gorgeous, it actually just, you just wanted to play it. On this one, it's, um, it's got this uh, baked wood. This has obviously got an ebony fingerboard. The other ones, you could see the, the wood, you know, with a, a maple top on it, and you can actually uh, you know, see, see all of that going on. But with this, it's, it's just a, a you know a nice change. I think you know it's kind of got a sexy look about it. This one's a tighter sound. It's kind of got a, a, a thicker bottom end. It's got a, the sustain on. Which, this is actually a modified. This is a, a newer version of the other sustain, which works great. You know, I love this one. Um, pickups the same Dimarzio, you know, Super Three, and the sustainer stuff. So this obviously acts as a pickup when you've got it on there, but. Uh, the rest of the time you get the ultimate sustain stuff and all that screaming feedback. It's pretty sweet. And you know, you can get all these great tones out of it, you know, like, you know. Just being able to control everything, you know, it's like you, you, can, you can make the guitar do whatever you want. It's, and that's something I always wanted as a kid. And when I first started playing, it wouldn't it be great if it had ultimate sustain? and if, if it could sound like a Strat or a Telecaster, and then the next minute it could sound like a Les Paul. And that's what these do, and that's why, you know, it's like I play them all the time, they're, they're just great. It's the first guitar I'm gonna play on tour, it's gonna be for the first three songs. We're actually gonna be doing Let It Go, off the High and Dry album, uh, Rocket, I'm gonna be playing it on that, and um, Animal as well. And, and again, you know, it's, it, we've been rehearsing and it sounds great on there. <laughs> When we done the Hysteria album, I used to use an Ebo. So we, if you listen to like the song Hysteria, Armageddon, there's a lot of um, orchestrated guitars that actually sound like keyboards or strings, and they're actually um, guitar. When we first, you know, got this out, I actually was, it was perfect because um, I could actually do those effects, uh, and I, I do them on stage as well. And then with with this button, it kind of uh, you. you also get the added bonus of the high octave, so it's screaming. It sounds like you're standing in front of a, a cabinet, you know, where everything's like flat out. It's a, a great shredding, it looks like a shredding guitar for a start off. It's kind of, you know, none more black. And uh, one of the really cool things about this is the headstock, if you haven't noticed already. Um, pretty sexy. And um, my signature is there on black on black, so it's, uh, it's pretty uh, gnarly. It's got everything, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.